Welcome back to our class. This is Teacher On and Guzman, and our topic for today is find the sum of the terms of a given arithmetic sequence. This is also known as arithmetic series. In the previous lesson, it was discussed that to find the nth term of a given arithmetic sequence, the formula a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus d times n minus 1 can be used, such that a sub n is equal to the nth term, a sub 1 is the first term, d is the common difference, and n is the number of terms. In this lesson, we will be discussing how to find the sum of the first n terms in an arithmetic sequence. So we call this one as arithmetic series. Arithmetic series is the sum of the terms of an arithmetic sequence. So to give us concrete examples of the sum of arithmetic sequence, let us consider this example. Find the sum of the first natural numbers. If we say natural numbers, these are the counting numbers. So we'll start with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And we will get the sum of these numbers. So the sum is equal to 55. So therefore, the sum of the first 10 natural numbers is 55. Let us move on to the second example. Find the sum of all terms of the sequence 5, 10, 15, 20, and so on until 50. Observe that the common difference is equal to 5. So if we will list down the elements of this sequence, we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, until 50. And get the sum. So the sum is equal to 275. So therefore, the sum of the terms of the sequence is 275. Let us move on to the next example. So find the sum of negative 5, negative 2, 1, 4, and so on until 31. Observe that the common difference in the sequence is actually 3 because negative 2 minus negative 5, so we have the common difference of 3. So if we will list down manually all the terms in the sequence, we have negative 5 plus negative 2 plus 1 plus 4 plus 7 plus 10 plus 13 plus 16 plus 19 plus 22 plus 25 plus 28 plus 31. And the sum is equal to 169. So therefore, the sum of the terms of the sequence is 169. From the given example, it is quite laborious to find the sum of the arithmetic sequence. That is why we will use now arithmetic series formula. So the first one is S of n is equal to n over 2 times the, the sum of a sub 1 plus a sub n if the first and the last terms are given. However, we will use the second formula, okay? So the sum of terms is equal to n over 2 times the expression 2a sub 1 plus the common difference times n minus 1 if the last term is not given. Let us recall some symbols or some variables. So we have here s sub n is the sum of the first n terms. a sub 1 is equal to the first term. D is the common difference, while n is equal to the number of terms. Let us consider this problem number one in order to apply the given formula. So, find the sum of the first 20 counting numbers. Again, if we say counting numbers, these are the numbers that we can easily count. Say, for instance, 1, 2, 3, and so on and so forth. So let's identify the given. So the first term in the counting number is 1. So a sub 1 is equal to 1. And we have 20 terms. So a sub n is equal to 20. So it follows that the number of terms is equal to 20. Also, 
we want to find out the sum of the first 20 county numbers. So this is a no. Now to solve this one, since we know the first term and our last term is equal to 20, so we can use the formula S of N is equal to N over 2 times A sub 1 plus A sub N. Then substitute. So we have 20 over 2 plus the first term is 1 plus 20. So this is 10 times 21. So the sum of first 20 terms is equal to 210. So therefore, the sum of the first 20 natural numbers is 210. Let us consider problem number 2. Find the sum of the first 16 terms of the arithmetic sequence 8, 11, 14, 17, 20, and so on. First, let's identify the difference between the first term and the second term. So the difference here is actually 3. So 11 and 14 is also 3. So we can say that the difference is equal to 3. Alright, or so the common difference is equal to 3. Our first term is equal to 8. So we have 16 terms. And we want to find out the sum of the first 16 terms. So this is unknown. Again, we will use the formula. Sum of terms is equal to n over 2 times 2a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times the common difference. Take note that we will use this formula because we do not know the last term. So substitute. S of 16 is equal to 16 over 2 times 2 times 8 plus the number of terms is 16 minus 1 times the common difference of 3. Simplifying it further, so we have 8 times 16 plus 15 times 3. Alright, so we have 8 times the sum of 16 plus 45. So this is 8 times 61, which is equal to 488. So therefore, the sum of the first 16 terms of the series is 488. Let's move on to the problem number 3. If the first n terms of the sequence 9, 12, 15, 18, and so on are added, how many terms give a sum of 126? So first, let's identify the given. So the first term is equal to 9. So we have sum of terms is equal to 126. So the difference is equal to 3 because 12 minus 9 is equal to 3. 15 minus 12 is equal to 3. So the difference or the common difference is equal to 3. And we do not know the number of terms. And also, we do not know the last term. So that is why we will use the formula S of N is equal to N over 2 times 2a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times the common difference. So let's substitute. So s of n or the sum is equal to 126. So we do not know the number of terms over 2 times 2 times 9 plus we have n minus 1 times 3. Let's simplify so I can multiply both sides of the equation by 2. So we have 252 is equal to n times 18 
and let us distribute 3. So 3 times n is 3n minus 3 times 1 is 3. Let's simplify more. So we have 252 is equal to n times 18 minus 3 plus 3n. So we have 252 is equal to n times 15 plus 3n. So, if we will distribute n, so let's write here, let's continue here. So, this is equal to 252 is equal to 3n squared plus 15n. So, subtract both sides by 252. So, we have 0 is equal to 3n squared plus 15n minus 252. Then divide both sides of the equation by 3. So 0 is equal to n squared plus 5n minus 84. So let us recall the factoring method. Okay, so if we will factor this uh, quadratic trinomial, so we'll, we will come up with n plus 12 times n minus 7 is equal to 0. So by the zero property of equality, so we have n plus 12 is equal to 0, so n equals negative 12. On the other hand, I have n minus 7 equals 0, so n equals 7. Since the domain of the sequence is the set of positive integers, we reject negative 12, and we only accept n is equal to 7. So therefore, the numbers of the terms that will add up to 126 is equal to 7. Let us now consider problem number 4. Find the sum of the integers between 1 and 70 and are divisible by 3. Since this is divisible by 3, it follows that our common difference is equal to 3. The next, okay, the first term is equal to 3. So, because that is the first multiple of 3. Okay, next, so a sub n is equal to 69 because this is the number divisible by 3 before 70. So now in order to solve this, we will use first the formula a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d because we would like to find out two things. We want to find out the number of terms and the sum of terms. Okay, so let's substitute. a sub 1 is equal to 3 plus the number of terms minus 1 times the common difference. Take note that a sub n is equal to 69. Simplifying it further, we have 69 is equal to 3 plus distribute 3. So we have 3n minus 3. So we have 69 is equal to 3 minus 3 is equal to 0. So we have only 3n. So 3n is equal to 69. Divide both sides by 3. So n is equal to 23. Now that we know that the value of n is equal to 3, so we can use now the formula S of n is equal to n over 2 times 2a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times t. Okay, so we have 23 over 2 times 2 times 3 plus the number of terms is 23 minus 1 times the common difference of 3. Okay, so... Simplifying it, 
further. So we have 23 over 2 times 6 plus 22 times 3. So this will result as 23 over 2 times 6 plus 66. So this is the same as 23 over 2 times 72. Or this is equal to 828. So therefore, the sum of the integers from 1 to 7 that are divisible by 3 is equal to 828. Let us move on to the fifth problem. The sum of the first 15 terms of an arithmetic sequence is 765. If the first term is 23, what is the common difference? So again, we would like to identify first the given. So the first term is equal to 23. Okay. Then n is equal to 15. And sum of the 15 terms is equal to 765. But we do not know the common difference. So we will look for the common difference. Now we will use the formula S of n is equal to n over 2 times 2a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times the common difference. Since we do not know the last term, so we will use this formula. Let's substitute the given values. S of n is equal to 765 is equal to 15 over 2 times 2 times 23 plus 15 minus 1 times the common difference. Simplifying it further, so we have 765 is equal to 15 over 2 times 46 plus 14t. I'll multiply both sides of the equation by 2. So I'll come up with, right here, 1,530 is equal to 15 times 46 plus 14D. So let's distribute 15. So I have 1,530 is equal to 690 plus 210d. Subtract both sides of the equation by 60. So I have here, let's subtract, 690. So I have 840 is equal to 210d. Then divide both sides by 210 So therefore, D is equal to 4. Thus, the common difference is equal to 4. So that ends our lesson for today. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you will be notified about my new videos. Thank you so much.